Okay. Cool. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Go for it. Okay. So our first question you've already answered. What's yes. your house? Just for. Ravenclaw, and I'm going to do the international Ravenclaw gang sign that only I know. Ka! <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is your first LeakyCon. How mm -hmm. has uh, your experience been so far? Oh my god, it's been amazing. So, I don't know if you guys know this. Well, I'm sure you do because I'm at LeakyCon, but I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. <laughs> and I've been obsessed with it for a really long time, as has everybody. But I kind of, in recent years, I was like, yes, I love it with all my heart, but like I kind of pushed my fangirlness aside which helped when I became friends with people in the cast. And I was like, oh, I can't be like a crazy fangirl. But coming here and walking around and seeing all the booths and stuff, I was like, yesterday when I walked by some of the merchandising booths, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. They have wands and they have certain like slogan shots. And, and so I just, I've been telling everyone, I was like, I need an hour tomorrow to go shopping <laughs> and just spend all of my money <laughs> on Harry Potter merchandise. And so I am, I am in heaven, to put it shortly, because this is my idea. Of, I'm like, I'm such a nerd, and I love it, so okay. I'm really happy. Um, you're here with Harry Potter actors, and we know you're a fan. Who's your favorite character, and if you could play one in the movies, who would you play? Okay, well, funny story. <laughs> Luna was always my favorite character, um, which is funny because now I'm friends with Evie. So, <laughs> But she's awesome, and oh, if I could play... I would just want to be like an extra so I could be on set and be like, oh, it's Maggie Smith. I'm going to stare at her. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Any character, really. It's just such a great... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. Um, who would Foxface get along with in the Potterverse? <sighs> Anybody in Ravenclaw, obviously. She's a Ravenclaw. She's so smart. Um, I'm trying to think. She'd probably be friends with... I don't know. Definitely somebody in Ravenclaw that we didn't necessarily meet who's like super smart and not necessarily the most outspoken person. Because I feel like that would intimidate her. Well, maybe not. On the other hand, maybe she would be attracted to like the, the, the Luna type. Who knows? <laughs> somebody in Ravenclaw. Um, what was the first thing you did when you found out you got the role in The Hunger Games? kind of jumped up and down a lot. I don't know. Um, I got very excited. I was going to have a lemon bar, and I didn't eat it because I was too excited, which is saying something because lemon bars are always to be eaten. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, like, oh, it was fun. It was great. It was very, well, what happened was that they told me I had it, but like it wasn't officially announced for three months. So I was always scared that they were going to call me up and be like, just kidding. You're not actually in the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when it was officially announced, I was at school with all my friends, and they'd been worried about me because I'd been like missing school and working out all the time and getting like toned, and they're like, what's wrong? So they were all very excited, and there's a lot of screaming that happened, and people are like, wow. Ah! So. Okay. Um, what has been uh, the enduring impact of the Hunger Games in your life? Is there anything from the script that stayed with you? Oh. That's a nice question. What do I think? Um, take down government. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start a revolution. Um, oh man, probably just the whole Katniss thing. You know, like she's such a strong female leader, and you don't get a lot of those in books. And that's what I love about Harry Potter is you've got Hermione, who's amazing. And, um, and the great thing about Hunger Games is that you've got Katniss, who's a girl that girls can look up to and be like, she did it. I can lead a revolution. You know? I can change the world. That's really the message, as cheesy as that is. Okay, and then I know for the movie we heard a rumor that we were going to know Foxface's name, but I personally have never found that out. So do can you tell us what Foxface's real name is? <laughs> Everyone's asking me that. Um, <laughs> Well, it wasn't like an official name. It was just a name that I made up for the character because I felt awkward <laughs> saying it. Can we do it off the record? Sure. Fine. Um, okay, so you're a fangirl, and Total you love the Hunger girl. Games. Um, and we're wondering if you, when you were reading the part of Coin in the books, did you have a certain actor or, act or actress <laughs> in mind, especially since now all these rumors are coming out? Who would you uh, cast as playing Coin? Well, let's see, there's Julianne Moore. Yeah. She would be awesome. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. Also, I think it's yes. Alex Kingston. Okay, that's and awesome too. God, who else? I don't know. I'm looking it up. Um, the room is I heard Sigourney Weaver. Oh, she would be great. But who she's would been, you catch? She's been a popular fan choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you if you were the casting director, who would you go for? See, I can't do that because here's the thing. <laughs> I went through the I've been through the process so many times. Um, but like especially with Hunger Games, I think they did a really good job of casting in the first movie, not necessarily based upon what people look like. And, like, a lot of people, when the announcement first came out about Jen, everyone was like, she doesn't look anything like Katniss, like, she's blonde, da da da, you know? And, and now everyone's like, oh my god, she's perfect. And so I can't, because I think it's more about the essence and who, ca- ha- who captures the essence of the character the best. And I think that goes for, like, anything. Like, I no longer judge if somebody's cast, I'm like, they don't look like the part. Like, if they make them look like the part, like, that's fine. Um, and I'm sure they will. And so. I trust the casting directors will choose whoever best fits it. Well, thank you guys.